decision. a really exciting fight to me. Um, at, the, at the beginning of the first round, like when I saw her stumble, I felt like I could have gone for it. And, but I was like, no, because then it would be just like the first one. And, and so I wanted to like try different things. I wanted to see what happened on the ground. So at one point, I almost took her down. But like my second, like my instinct is to just stand up. And I stopped, <laughs> I stopped the takedown and actually brought her back to her feet. And then we kept clinching and doing stuff. But it was, you know, it was a good test. She was a really good fighter. That's exactly what I expected from Invicta. I was driving when I took the fight, so I didn't have time to check. When I got home, I looked her up, and I was like, this is perfect. But the reason why I took the fight on the spot is because I know the mashups here are always good. So I knew it wasn't going to be an easy fight. It didn't matter what the name of the girl was. I just had to take it. I mean, it's Invicta. I can't pass on that. Why? Because I just started. Like, I've been doing this exactly two years. April 23rd was my first fight, 2016. So it's only been like a little over two years. So I know I don't have the background that most of these girls have. And I want to test myself, even if I lose, before it's relevant. You don't want to lose after you have the title. That's devastating. So if I'm going to have a loss, it might as well be now. So my next two fights, I want it to be really, really challenging. And maybe later, I'll be hoping for easy fights so I can keep my prestige or whatever people care about. I don't know. I don't care. Elevator <laughs> I knew she was going to do that one, two, and so I threw the hook, and I wanted to follow it, but I said, I told someone, I'm going to kick her ass, and then I kind of became really childish for a second. I'm like, I'm just going to kick her ass for a few seconds, and then my coach told me to let her back up. I'm like, yeah, of course. This is what I'm doing right now. is very immature, so then I let her back up. Uh, I hope that these ladies do not put me on a shelf. You can't leave me alone at home. I will get in trouble. Just put me on the next car. I, have, I don't have anything to do that day. Whatever day that is, I'm absolutely free, and I'm ready to go.